You'd think a two-hour event would be enough time, but reports since Apple's keynote Monday show there's more to iOS 8 than the Cupertino crew revealed during its announcement. Our personal favorite, quick access to apps based on location. Let me explain. You walk into Starbucks for your daily cup. And when you go to open your app to pay, you already see a small Starbucks app icon in the bottom left corner on the lock screen. Mac Rumors reports this would allow for easy access to location-relevant apps, although it's not clear how this feature works or which apps are compatible at this point. That said, one Twitter user says he saw an App Store icon when he visited a Costco. He says a swipe up took me directly to the Costco app install page. 9to5Mac reports on another potential time saver. In iOS 8, Safari will display a scan credit card option when you go to make a purchase. If selected, you would reportedly be prompted to take a photo of your card. The site says Apple then uses optical character recognition of sorts to input the number into the text field in Safari. There will also be a way to scan and save credit card details, although that sounds like a security problem just waiting to happen. Next is a feature for the energy-concerned app user. Under Usage in the Settings app, iOS 8 reportedly tells you which apps are draining your battery the most. And that's good to know, but as Gizmodo says, battery life will be an issue on our iPhones until Johnny I figures out a way to charge them kinetically. Apple certainly made time to show off iOS 8's new photo editing features Monday, but we didn't get to see this one. When you tap to focus, you can adjust exposure right there. Also in the camera app is a new time-lapse mode, which Apple features on its website. It'll reportedly take photos in dynamically selected intervals. This YouTube video claims to be a preview of that feature, and we're sure it won't be the last one you'll see. Prepare for endless sunsets on your Facebook feed. Uh, for Newsy, I'm Lauren Gorris.